My name is Tatiana. I'm from Benin. And I work at the Glean Ministry. It's an NGO, a Christian NGO. We are involved in rural setup through medical missions, free medical missions, uh, education, uh, foster care program, and we also do professional training. As a 2014 Rutgers Washington Fellow, what have you learned while in the U.S. for the past six weeks that you think you can use when furthering the mission of your organization in Benin? I learned a lot, a lot of things. I learned organi community orga organizing, fundraising. I, I, I learned a lot. We went to Condom City. We see how they organize themselves through CPAC. I have a lot of knowledge in social media. And I know when I go back home, I can apply all this one in my language. Excellent. And so within the next year, yes. what are some of the goals that you have that you'd like to achieve after Yali? After Yali, the first thing I plan to do when I go back home is to work in a community. I call it their community. To help the young people to be involved, to be engaged in volunteerism. These young people, they have the skills and they have common challenges. If they work together, they can achieve the goals. My first thing to do is to help them, teach them how to engage in volunteerism. The second thing is to open a center, Hope Center, to welcome children, vulnerable people, and mostly the orphans and those who do not have their family around, and take care of them, sending them to school, uh, taking care of their care, and lead the young adult to professional training. Yeah. And lastly, how can someone who's interested in the work that you're doing contact you or find out more about your organization? And what kind of support do you think you would best need from someone in the U.S.? From someone in the U.S.? Because the most thing I need is like voluntary, vol those who can donate their time for our medical missions. We used to welcome doctors from America and from Europe and nurses or anybody who can just be part of the medical mission team is welcome in Benin. The second thing is we're working with pregnant women and they need some knowledge, some teaching. And if somebody is good at that one, we will welcome this person to be helping the pregnant women in Benin to take care of their pregnancy till deliverance. And how can someone find more information about your We are on the website. It's gleanministry.org. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.